Begin in Richland County. That's where changes could be coming to some zoning codes. Residents in the Irmo area are asking Richland County Council to reconsider. News 19's Walker Lawson headed to the petition signing to speak with residents about their fears. We don't need massive rezoning in Richland County. We want to maintain the current density levels. We're not against growth, but we need responsible growth. Resident Pam Sulkinghouse hosted a stop zoning petition and has lived in Chafin her whole life. She's concerned alongside the almost 300 people like Austin Smith who came out to sign the petition. The land code would allow for places like apartments and duplexes, which bring more people to the area. Uh, I moved out to Chapin to get away from the higher population density. We don't want any increase in density. We want to continue our single family status. Richland County Councilman Bill Malinowski responded to some of the fears from people in his district and explained what exactly the proposed plan means and what it will do for property owners. There's no such thing as a push for high density. <clears throat> the staff is trying to put this code in where they feel it will work best for the property owners. They don't have anything against the people and their properties. They're not trying to create higher densities. The property didn't allow <clears throat> an additional building. They would not be able to do it. So while the property itself does not lend to building an additional house, the new zoning would allow them to build something additional in the way of a, a building, an outbuilding or something, or a garage that they can't do now without coming in and requesting a zoning change. Sulking House, who is considered Residential 3, is worried about being upgraded to Residential 4. And Malinkowski explained what that exactly means. R3 on one acre would be six units. R4 on one acre would be nine units. Malinowski adds residents should come speak at public forums. Soaking House plans to speak at the next county council meeting about the petition and trying to stop the land code and hopes it remains the way it is. In Irmo, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.